What's going on, monkey dudes and monkey cats? Hell, we're gaming here. Previously. Okay. Oh my goodness. Never mind. This actually has a HUD upgrade on it. Like, this shows me where the outcrops are. So, like... I didn't realize that. There is some use for this after all. I'll just park over here. There's... One, two, three, four. Four around here? I'll just park it right here, then I'll go to the camera. And make this. Boom. Alright. Now I'll just wait for it to be done. I didn't realize I had what I needed. I'm so silly sometimes. Uh, come on down. Sploosh. Alright. Pilot it. Do it. He did it. The sea he did it. Have changed their tune. He did it. He brought me a magnetite. <laughs> it worked. Oh, is that cheating? Do I care? I have the scanner HUD. I want one more magnetite, but I have the scanner HUD. Anyway, I'll hang out around here for a little bit longer just to see if these guys will bring. <gasps> he did it again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. We're going back to base to make the two upgrades. And now. What's going on, monkey dudes and monkey cats? Hellfor Gaming here, back at it again with some more Subnautica Below Zero. And let's start off by checking our power, because why would we not? This is what we should always do. Strive, strive for power. For the highest regard of power. So, we are powered now. Haha. -ha. Anyway, I had to go back to get a screenshot for the last video, so my battery's a little bit lower. But it's okay. I got the screenshot. I got in and out. Everything was fine. I think I might have scanned something while I was down there. Is that something that happened? I don't remember. I don't know if I caught the propulsion cannon fragment on cam. If I didn't, then I did scan a propulsion cannon fragment. Uh, I don't know, but just in case, I'm double checking. Ooh, alien parts. Anyway, I am back. I am back. And let's start off by just saying the usual. I know you guys like to hear it. Thanks, everybody, for the support. If you like this video and if you like the other videos, make sure to hit the thumbs up button to show your support. And subscribe for future content. And hit the notification bell so you can be notified of future content. Thank you guys very much for your support. Now, that's free support. You can also subscribe, uh, join, not subscribe. Boof. Uh, Twitch versus YouTube, I swear. Uh, you subscribe on Twitch, you pay money, you join on YouTube and become a member and spend money. But you can click the join button if you're interested in spending money on me. It's only $2 a month minimum, so check it out. Link in the description and button is below. So let's begin by going to where we belong. The, the, the pilot last location place. There's something special over there I need to get to. Uh, do I need the storage? You know what? I'll take the storage with me because it doesn't hurt to have storage with me. So I will meet you guys over there and I will see you guys in just a moment. We are here at the last known position of the pilot. What is the pilot's last known position? It's right there. So let us go look around this area, shall we? Hmm. Nothing over here. It doesn't really look like it gets much deeper. This just looks like it goes around. Hmm. Uh, actually, what are you? You might be something of import. Let's find out if you are of import. Scan a sea truck horsepower upgrade. Okay. I guess. Sure. Fine. Get in the sea truck. Pilot. Ha! Oh, hi. Sorry, I almost crashed into you. You startled me by getting right in my face. I oh, hi ho, hi ho. It's underwater we go. Ruggles, right? Actually, aren't all these like that? Is this up? Okay. I need to figure out how it is you get out immediately. Like, there's a secret to it. Is there something here? Isn't there always something? No? Or did I already scan that? Whoa, hold up. That's a ruby. Yo, that's a, that's a ruby. Um, you know, scanning it may have been important. Let's scan it. 
It doesn't take long to scan after all. Scanned and picked up. Okay. Gel sack. Wait, scan the gel sack. Oh yeah, well, I could get some seeds. Three. Eh. There, I got some seeds. Those are one tiers? Yeah. Thank you. Hey, you have some titanium. I take, I take. Thank you. Uh, he originally ha tried to hand it to me, and I kind of just ignored him. Ah, there's something to scan here. Is this the other ultra? <gasps> Yo, I got it. Oh, I don't. It's a three-parter. I thought it was a two-parter. No. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. Where am I? <laughs> I'm lost. I'm going to go back to my sea truck. I'm going to do some exploring. I'll meet you guys back in a bit. After I get my sea truck, because I'm scared. In the sea truck. That's not what I wanted to do. Get in the truck. What? Oh, well, I detached. That's wonderful, too. <laughs> I meant to detach. Totally. Okay, I'll meet you guys back in a bit. Prawn suit grappling arm fragment, eh? One of two, not bad. Definitely stuff under here, very important. I just scanned the other thermal reactor part. So I'm interested in this. Very interested. Didn't I tell you to stay away? From what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida is the name. You're on my turf. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. <laughs> okay, well, it seems I have found her place. Warning. Maximum death rate. Yeah, oh! Damage okay, imminent. okay, okay. I didn't realize how far down I was. Well then. Oh! Okay, so our place is right out of view. Right out of view. Not that far. And this is where I get the moon pool, isn't it? Can't I scan the moon pool? Or something? <gasps> Yo, moon pool discovered. Okay, where is the front door? I want to go in the front door. Okay, front door. Oh, vehicle upgrade console also. There is front door somewhere. Maybe I'm just dumb. <laughs> Maybe I just don't know where it's at. Because I'm dumb. Uh, I just gone around in a complete circle. Wait, what? Where's the door? Is there a hatch on the top? Wait, do I come in from the bottom of the moon pool? Yeah, that may be the case, actually. Did you? Can I climb up the ladder, please? Oh, my goodness. Let's scan her prawn suit. It's not going to give me any info, but sure. Anything else I can scan here? Some info on her prawn suit. It's the Mark III prawn, manually altered by its owner. Has a stylistic choice and has been used for many years. As you can see, there's a little rib cage thing. All right, let's go in. Um, oops, I accidentally hit my mic thingy. Um. I told you to stay off my land. You trained that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not, Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work.
she she's harsh she's very harsh all right let's scan this let's scan this Ooh, a snow fox let's pick up this oh perimeter defense actually that could be useful but I didn't want to get out there acquired. a PDA Marguerite's log that far out to sea swimming back for land wasn't an option I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere. I felt a suction. And suddenly, there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It had taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath but would she sink before or after I died of thirst I had a knife a repair tool and three liters of water at least I wasn't gonna die of exhaustion now those reefers they're practically all muscle but there's some fat in there I was able to keep warm and drink the water and I didn't have much but I had that repair tool so I had a spark it took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of Reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires, but as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's rib cage. See, she's supposed to be a total badass. Let me in, little pig. There's gotta be something. In there. You know, I wonder if there is something in here. You just have to come back. I wonder if he can kill me. Hey, well, hold on. That doesn't do anything. Okay. He won't let me in, though. Oh, well. I tried. Good enough. I tried, and that's good enough. I got the moon pool. I'm happy. In fact, I'm so happy that I am going to scroll and right-click. Oh, that's easy. That's easy. I don't have the stuff, but that's easy. All right. Thing is, if I go down lower, there's more stuff, and I know that. There's more stuff. But what I think I'm gonna do still is save that for a later episode because I wanna go back and make the moon pool. And I genuinely don't have a lot of time. I've been making my episodes a lot longer than I've intended lately, and I don't exactly mean to, but now what I need to do is I need to actually take a screenshot a good screenshot at that because lately I've had a bad habit of uh, leaving my stuff equipped when I take screenshots or having to come back to take the screenshots so I can wait is there another F6 ah get rid of my body okay there we go it still puts my body back can I get a screenshot without my body please make multiple screenshots just to get one without the body. I want the screenshot of it hudless. Ah, whatever. Let's go. I know how to get back here now. Just a little bit. Just going down deep. Now let's go up here and uh, pull up my upgrades first. And put in this, uh, this upgrade. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. It's okay. I'm heading back up. I'm heading back up. Now I just need to get out of here and head back to the base. And make the moon pool. Because that is actually one of the very important things. Also, also, another important piece to the moon pool is this. So let's pin this recipe also. Oh, I need to get some lead. So you know what? Maybe I should get some lead while I'm down here. So, I might do that now, so that I don't have to worry about it. Um, lead? Uh, where are you? Nickel? Let's grab this nickel, why not? Why not? Um, that's not what I want, though. I want, a uh, mineral detector? Five? No, 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 no. Uh, Galena? Chance of lead. Well, can it be, can it actually search for lead specifically? Actually, yo, uh, fragment. 
that could be important. But you know what? I, I'll go to that later. I need Galena. So I will search for Galena. I don't know if there is any this deep, to be honest. I don't exactly know the best locations to find things. Because it's not like I have a map that says, yo, this is here. This is a Calvarite for gold. This is a nest that doesn't have anything, probably, because I've already found it. It doesn't appear. Oh, some more nickel, actually. Is that. Oh, wait. Is there, so there is something on this. Something scannable. Exosuit thermal reaction module. Yeah, I already have you. Is there something on this? Should I search for fragments, maybe? Eh. You guys are adorable. You no, know I'll scan nickel, because I haven't scanned it yet. I'll grab it. Oh, what is this? You gave me lead. Oh, that's so nice of you. I need one more lead, please. Just need one more lead. Okay. Go back to the sea truck. I like these guys. They're so adorable. What do you have? <gasps> lead! Yes, I have the two lead that I need. I'll see you later. Bye bye. I literally needed two lead, and they gave me the two lead I need. But now I'm running out of oxygen. Even though I'm right at an oxygen thing, I can just get in here. And pilot the sea truck. And I can head home. So much easier to head home if I just head home. Uh, maybe. If I can find a way out. Alright. Just climb. Is it dark out? Oh, son of a biscuit. That's actually bad. It's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. I'm not that high up. Huh. <laughs> Oh god. Go, go, go! Let's go! Alright, I'm heading home. So, I'll be back in just a moment. Sea is spooky. Sea is very spooky. Yo, it's a glow whale. At least that's a non hostile. Hello! Hello, glow whale. You are cool. You are a good friend. Bye, glowy. All right, I'm back, and I should basically have everything I need. Let me grab a couple titanium, boop, boop, uh, and then three more, boop. I don't have enough room. Uh, you know what? Under food and survival, let me throw in these gel seeds. Let's go ahead and pull out a water, because I have plenty of water. Let's drink one. That'll catch me up with this, and then I can just... Oh, my inventory's full. Why did it give me a creep vine sample? I, I'll just eat it pretty easy to get um there uh then i have this seed cluster which i was going to make Let's see oh uh, test override module needs parallel processing i still need to go back to that so i need a copper wire i need a computer chip needs a copper wire a gold two table coral samples i got polyalanine and all that uh i need a lubricant i needed the two titanium ingots Takes five per ingot. Then I can just take two more out for that. So the moon pool's done. Now I want the vehicle upgrade console. Need two more uh, titanium. Boop. Uh, I need two copper. Wait, do I have copper in here? I have a copper in here, so I'm gonna put one more copper in here. Uh, take out a gold. Two table coral samples. Make the computer chip. Got a copper wire. The computer chip. Boom. Alright. So now let's put the builder on number five. Uh, let's go back in because I'm going to need one important thing I forgot about. Also, now that my inventory is no longer full, I need to gulp and eat and food everything. Food it all. Food it all up. 
I'm gonna eat them all because I want them to be empty. Ha ha. Both trees are empty now. Anyway. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't need. I, I needed two titanium. Need two tita titanium. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. Need two to build off of here. Hmm. This way. No, 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 no. Can I build? Can I actually? Hold on. Five. Can this attach to this anywhere? There is not a spot. Can I, I can attach this way. Now here's the question for the class. Can a moon pool? Can a moon pool attach to this? No. But it can attach over here, maybe? Uh, if I climb... Uh, that would be dumb, though. I need a moon pool location. I need a moon pool location. So, like, where can I put a moon pool where it will actually go? I am so confused. I will have to be back to find this out. So I'll be back momentarily. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've done it. Sort of. This is what I've come out to. Having said that, I'm going to move these two rooms here over here so I can actually remove these. But these are my power rooms, so I'm just going to put them here and here. If I can, I'm going to try and see what happens. Um, I'm also going to have to move my pots and everything, so... Well, let's just see. Let's just see what happens when I put this in the moon pool. I couldn't do much about anything. I could only do what I could do, and this helped. So that's how I could do it. I could have moved everything, but I was like, you know what? What if I can just make it work? So I made it work. So now I can get out of this. Boom, now this thing is actually charging. Ah, yes, wonderful. And five, let's go ahead and build the vehicle station. Is that the only place I can build it? Can I build it over here, maybe? Ah, over here. Should have everything. Yeah, okay. Boom, done. So, here's your vehicle upgrades. Um, just put that away. The fabricator. This is where I make the grappling arm and the thermal reactor and the stuff. Force upgrade, the depth module that I've already made. This is where you rename. This is the jungle. This is the jungle, so this is going to be Luffy. This is Luffy. I don't really remember the names from the first game. But I do know I'm going to be interior. The interior can be just freaking red. I like red. The name will be brown. Done. How does this look? Ah, yes. Where's the name? Where is the name on these things? Right here. Not bad. Not bad looking. I like it. I like it. Let's find out something. If I get out of this thing, will it automatically color the, the other piece over here when I back up to it? Now if I get out, is this one also interiorly colored? <gasps> yes, it is. Wait, why am I swimming? Why am I swimming in the sea truck? I'm so confused right now. Whatever. I was swimming in the sea truck, and I don't know why. This needs to be piloted and moved more like maybe here. So that way, when I come back out, it goes into place. So if I shine my light on it, it's mostly green. I mean, like, I can't really tell. It looks white still to me, but it's okay. It's okay. But as you can see, these, these rooms are empty, so I'm going to try putting the storage here, and I'll meet you guys after I do that. Let's just see if it works first. All right, I've done it. This is now my base. It's been rearranged a bit, but let's go in, shall we? I don't think I put the upgrades back in. I have put a reinforcement here. Uh, hopefully I'll remember that's there. I have moved. I have a temporary locker for food. I also put some in my titanium locker, which, oh my goodness, I have a lot of titanium on me now. So this is just a mer you know, I'm going to actually start taking it out of the titanium locker. Boop, boop. Take out three. And technically that's temporarily ores and gems. Look at this. I'll just take it all out of here. Have it on me. 
Might as well. These are now growing. I have four pots per room. That should be plenty for power. Boom. One in here. Go down. And same here. One in here. And then I can go over here. Go over here. And in my upgrades, put these two. I'll probably fill it with range upgrades and remove speed upgrades once I'm able to. But I can fragment if I want even a bunch of titanium. Oh, also, since I don't have any controllable cameras, I need to take out the camera that I have stored in here. Um, I threw it in my crafted storing. That way I could remove, remove it. I didn't want to lose it, so... Um, just in case, I don't know if I have to release it or if I can just drop it. Just in case, I'll do that and put my scanner back there. My knife back on three. My knife should always be on three. Go up to the scanner room. Um, do 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 do. There's a bunch of fragments that's already found on the HUD. Uh, camera. Wait for it to connect, which takes like 30 minutes. And then... Put it in the socket. Oh, no, no. I want it to equip. There we go. And now I'm off. Okay, cool, cool. So now I can go find all these fragments that it's found. And scan them. All the fragments in the area. Like I said, I think I'll do upgrades first. I'll just go ahead and grab these so that I can get the parts, or the titanium, because it's a lot of titanium. That's a lot of fragments, to be honest. But that's okay. Because once I scan them, I scan them. Isn't this one like right here? Yeah, this one's right next to base. They're all so close. There's so many. But like, who knows? Maybe I'll find something I don't have. So let's go and I'll scan some and then I'll be back momentarily. Well, my inventory is officially full of titanium and I've nowhere near scratched the surface of how many it has found in the area. I think I'll let it keep scanning though. Let it fill out as many as it has and then I'll just like every now and then drop by and grab some fragments. I know it consumes power and eventually I'll run out of power, but I don't mind that much. I don't mind. I can just, I'll end up scanning all of these eventually and then hey, I'll have a ton of titanium if I actually need it. You know? But I have so much titanium right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, but that's okay. It's okay. That's okay. These trees will grow eventually. I think what I'll do is I'll sleep. Sleeping advances time, so things grow and things happen. So, thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that thumbs up button to show your support. Subscribe for future content. Do the notification what bell so you can notify future you content. Sleeping? I was being pulled from a logical world to a logical world, with you at the center of them all. I was dreaming. The brain processes in mysterious ways when we sleep. Does it serve a purpose? It was such disorienting and fragmented thought. Random images and sensations. No one is completely sure what it does. There are theories, but every human dreams. Many other mammals, too. Is it enjoyable? It can be. We can experience impossible joy, and also impossible terror in our dreams. Sometimes I can fly. Sometimes I call out to Sam and can't reach her. Sometimes I'm in my underwear, defending my doctoral thesis. It's a mixed bag. Your biofeedback indicates that flying is the most enjoyable dream. I therefore hope you have many more of those. Mainly for my own safety. <laughs> oh, that was actually kind of funny. Location of an important artifact. Oh, an important artifact, huh? I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. Got it. That's a lot of fragments. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. So peace out, everybody. Have a good one. Actually, P.S. Look at all these fragments. Holy crap. That's that's a oh, my God. And I have a max of what? Four, three 350 meters. And that's it. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I'm saying bye one more time. I was interrupted by a phone call, so I was trying to rush the goodbye, but I don't like rushing goodbyes. So thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully this is as far as they've grown up. 56% or 65% from the looks of it. Uh, 56. 56 on the top. 
56 on the top, so they should be grown after another day or so. I'll probably stay on just to let the stuff grow. And, uh... Uh, everything should be fine. Just let these grow and everything, like I said, should be fine. I have backup power, which is this, all of these, and this. So, should be good for now. That would get annoying, and I understand that, so what I'm going to do is take off the HUD chip. Oh, there. Hold on, is it possible to put the HUD chip on? And then under the beacon manager, no, it's not possible. Make the drop pod blue. And the sea truck can be yellow. Stuff we've already done can be. Sea truck module. What we've already done can be turned red. Important locations. The one that's off red because we've already done it. This is the next one. So, thanks everybody again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. So, peace out everybody. Have a good one. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.